I used to be one for wool and one around. You know, I'd rope them on the neck, we'd rope a back leg, throw them on the ground and go from there. But we got a lot gentler mules today, so now we're going to use a little di different position. I used to be one for wool and one around. You know, I'd rope them on the neck, we'd rope a back leg, throw them on the ground and go from there. But we got a lot gentler mules today, so now we're going to use a little di different position. Number one, the biggest thing you're going to hear me say about mules is they care more about their nose than they do their mouth. So therefore, all of our training must be from the nose, and the come along hit hitch is imperative. Those folks that are using uh, horse halters with the knots way up here, like I said, you can always tell a horseman or a horse trainer they're trying to train a mule with the knots way up here on their on their rope halter, and and you end up with a lot of work. See, since mules care more about their nose, they'll take and 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 they'll respond to it. But the downside is if they've had those type of halters, nylon halters, chains, or the nylon or the rope halter with the knots up here misadjusted they can learn to get away. And what they do is this. They tighten all five major neck muscles and they tighten the throat latch. So every time they test you and they bump and they bump, pretty soon they start to say, that person doesn't have the feel, the touch to, to use their hands. And then pretty soon they find just the right time and they blow out. They're gone. And yeah, I could put them a big old horse and wool them out. But here's what happens. When the horse ain't there and you're just walking, you're done. So you have to do foundational training. And number one, my video, Problem Meal Building a New Foundation, good place to start. You'll see a buckaroo cowboy there from uh, Bozeman, Montana. Uh, he's in that Montana area. And he tells me about this mule that he's trying to train and he's pulling him behind a pickup truck. Oh, golly. And this poor mule, you can hear him inside the trailer pawing and this sort of thing. And he said, oh, by the way, this buckaroo, he says, by the way, he's also got a split ear now because he tried to jump. And when he did, he caught the end of the corral and cut his ear. And the vet had to stitch it up and you can't touch his ears either. But you'll see in result in there the groundwork that I do. See, the downside is, and, and, and Dave knows this, and a lot of people who are watching my training we tend to be in a demanding stage, and that was fine back when we were young and we we had we banged them around and and this sort of thing. And, but I ended up with 32 broken bones and two replaced hips because of it. So so let's do foundation, foundation, foundation. You can touch these animals, pick up their feet and all this stuff. They're gentle. Put the come along hitch on and start doing the foundational training that I have in the uh, problem meal building a new foundation. Watch that training. Watch me go in circles. Watch me take the rope, go around behind their butt and bring them around. Get their nose soft little by little. Don't have it hard all of a sudden. The downside, partner, is that yes, the come along hitch is awesome, but when you hit it on the end of a 1200 pound horse and you got that thousand pound mule on the end of it, you got a good opportunity to break a cartilage in the nose. And and then you're done. You know, then you got a Roman nosed old rascal. So start with groundwork first. Come along hitch. No rope halter. And everywhere you go. And this is the key thing. Building a foundation is important. And you do it over a six month time frame. Listen, the days of the 30, 60, 90 day roughing them up. Cowboying needs to go away. We need to tell people that look, we as trainers are professionals. Don't tell me to get them trained in 30 days, impossible. Don't tell me to get them trained in 60 days, impossible. I was just talking with a trainer today, a horseman, and Joseph, he's quite the quite the horseman. I hear him talking all the time. He loves his horses, but he said these mules are different, Steve, you know, and your techniques, wow, they're, they're soft, they're easy, they work. I love it when I hear a horseman that wants to try something new, but let's go back, okay? For six months, everywhere you go, you put the come along hitch on. Don't just put that on there and temporarily and think, okay, it's going to work. He's doing good now. Go. He's already had two or three years, two or three years 
of being able to pull away and you're going to fix it in just a few short terms, uh -uh. you're going to start building a foundation. So six months is what does it. Use the come along hitch. Hey, and Dave, I uh, since I've been talking about this a lot, come along hitches, and we've been talking about a kit. Uh, we, we folks, we're going to put together a deal where you got the the mule riders Martin get. I mean the the come along hitch, the uh, problem mule video, and then a rope halter, the combination of the two. But we, we want to put that together for you because you cannot believe if you train that mule softly. In the very beginning, using that come along hitch, forget it's already happened. It's already happened with a nylon halter. It's already done with the rope halter that's incorrectly adjusted. It's already been done. But here's the deal. They were all high. What we're going to do is going to lower that nose where it makes a difference to the animal. And we're just going to be rolling our wrist. No more pressure than that.